artificial intelligence saw a major boom earlier this year with the release of numerous large language models and generative AI tools. The CIA's Jennifer Eubank explained that within the Intel community, leaders are grappling with how to use these advancements to their advantage while defending against adversarial uses of AI. Watch her full video interview with Executive Mosaic for more. Dave Weisgrass, CEO of Intelsat and seven-time WASH 100 awardee, recently said in an interview that he sees the company's multi-orbit strategy as having a significant impact on the industry. Sierra Nevada Corporation, Zage Security and Blue Ridge Networks evaluated their security devices against emulated threat scenarios as part of the inaugural cohort of the Clean Energy Cybersecurity Accelerator program managed by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Collins Aerospace has begun the production of a 1-megawatt electric generator to power future manned and unmanned military platforms, as part of an Air Force Research Laboratory initiative. Lockheed Martin unveiled the Operation Center of the Future, a new technology testbed that uses artificial intelligence, cloud computing and automation to manage multiple satellite operations in space. Rob Carey, president of Cloudera Government Solutions, said federal agencies looking to effectively implement artificial intelligence tools should identify problems that are well-defined and supported by high-quality data. ECS helped the defense microelectronics activity gain authorization to use a ServiceNow-supported cloud environment for handling sensitive government data. General Dynamics Electric Boat subsidiary has placed a $10.6 million order for Austal USA to outfit the U.S. Navy's Virginia-class nuclear submarines with electronic deck modules. Join GovkinWire's events fireside chat with the DCMA on November 1, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Amy Hopkins, Vice President and General Manager of National Security Space at Periton, said opportunities to achieve space dominance might come temporarily and require collaboration across the U.S. military to maximize those chances to the fullest. A new power plant complex was inaugurated at Naval Station Guantanamo Bay in Cuba as part of an energy savings performance contract.